today's headlines. Human trafficking victim rescued. Feasness fall protest continues. Township protest for electricity gets violent. Community fitness center grows in numbers. And in sports, Mami Lodi Sundowns host Barcelona. Good evening and welcome to Boston Primetime News. I'm Katlao Mama Volo. A 19-year-old girl who went missing earlier this year has been found and brought to a place of safety. The girl, whose identity will remain anonymous, has now been brought to a place of safety after allegedly escaping her kidnappers in Botswana. I received an SMS saying I got a modeling job in Botswana. Um, I was very happy about this because I had been looking for a job. When I got to the address on the SMS, there were a lot of girls there and we were put into two buses and there were two cars that were es escorting the two buses. When we got to Botswana, the house we were taking to was very secluded and strange and this is when I began to get nervous and worried. Um, when we got there, we were put into different rooms and there were about eight guys who were constantly there and they would tell us when to eat and when to bath and they would give us drugs and they would send in men to come in and sleep with us. Um, I think maybe on a daily, we would probably sleep with about eight to nine men. And then this one day, um, the guy came in to tell me to go take a bath. When I got to the bathroom, the window was open and I got out as fast as I could. Um, all I remember after that is this lady stopping and asking me if I was okay. The next thing I remember is waking up in the hospital and I was surrounded by a lot of policemen and they were asking me what had happened to me and who I was. Um, a few days later, I was transported back to South Africa and I was taken to Salvation Army to get counseling. And then I was taken to this place. Earlier today, Boston Primetime News spoke to Anti-Human Trafficking Association, Salvation Army's Migrant Staffords. You know, we, when, when girls are often taken, there's, we call it the breaking ground, where they take these girls and they rape them. And they rape them so badly that something inside of them breaks. And how do you fix that? How do you ever put that together again? I think for some girls it just never happens. And other girls, we thank God it does. They, they, they come out fighting. But some come out very, very broken. If you're a young person and you're on a Facebook page and somebody says, I've got a job for you and you stay in Unkamas and they've got a job for you in Kempton Park and you've never been outside of your city, then just check it out first. Don't just get on the very first train, even if he's giving you money to get to wherever you're going. Find out is this a legitimate place or isn't it a legitimate place. It's, it's very easy on Google to find out. There's a, a website called Prevention versus Cure. And they will check out some of these things for you. They will see whether it's a bogus company or not. Community fitness centers seem to be growing in numbers. Nomaswa Zingosi speaks to a member of Gym is Life, a community fitness center based in Gatloho. I'm Nomaswa Zintibane reporting from Katlehong in the east of Chobek. Today we're here at the Huntersfield Stadium and we're going to interview the members of the community health gym uh, in Katlehong. Okay, please uh, tell me your name and your surname and 
what are you doing in this gym? Uh, my name is Zanede and my surname is Kendana. Um, the name of our gym, uh, it's Gym is Life. Uh, the reason we call it uh, because uh, of uh, the healthiness uh, behind it. Uh, it's um, just keeping us uh, also just active, uh, keeping us away from the uh, activities uh, that are wrong in the location. So as you can see here, we all, it's all the youth here. Yeah, we're trying to do something for ourselves, for our health. Yeah, we're just living a healthy living lifestyle. Premier League champions Mamelodi Sundowns hosted FC Barcelona in a friendly match on May 16th at FNB Stadium. The friendly game left the hosts defeated 3-1. The crowd waited in anticipation for world-famous Lionel Messi to step in, who only came in at the 80th minute, leaving the fans in a frenzy. Communicate with us on social media. On Facebook, we are Boston Panther News, and on Twitter, we are at Panther News. I'm Katarama Mabolo for Boston Panther News. Good night.